Like I'm working out for three months. Body hasn't changed at all. I'm doing cardio. I'm starving myself. I'm doing all this stuff. Nothing's happening. That's what the discussion is tomorrow. It's about getting the results, um, keeping the mindset right for what you need to do and how you want to reach your ultimate goals. All right. So the reason we want to jump on today is to make sure that you guys are staying on point with this first week. If you are sore, drink more water. If you are sore, get some more sleep if you can. Um, load up on the glutamine and the branch chains. Um, so all these things are something that we can do to help our bodies recover better this first week. The Mike O'Hearn Show over there on Generation Iron. It is going to be a blast. I think you guys might like this. We... Uh, uh, the team decided to go with um, a solo one this week because there were some things that they wanted just me to really talk about. Uh, and so we kind of go over a whole bunch of stuff that's going on with social media and maybe how you guys are getting influenced with your training, with your belief system when it comes to training and your belief system when it comes to nutrition. Um, most of you guys that are, are, with me and have been with me for years or know about my background you guys are living it like i do doing the very best we possibly can and understand that whatever we put in we get out um whatever somebody else puts in they're going to get different results than our different results so with that being said one of the biggest things is that's what the discussion is tomorrow it's about getting the results um keeping the mindset right for what you need to do and how you want to reach your ultimate goals. Uh, I know this stuff is never easy. And I know that this first week, I'm hoping that you guys are still psyched up and just so motivated to get in the very best shape of your lives. And again, every time we do this, that's the goal. That should always be the goal to whichever it is. If it's uh, to build strength, then you want to get to that point where you've never been before. If it's to get in shape, then it's finally that time where you just get so ripped and, and sliced up to there's no lower back fat. There's none of that lower abs. Um, that's always the goal to look better than you did before. So that's what tomorrow is. I think everybody that's here are believers in the hope. You look at something in your half full kind of attitude. I'm going to do the very best I can. And the results are what the results are. What I'm put in, I get out. That being said, if there's any hiccups with the body and it's not functioning correctly, again, I've given you the tools and the links on that to make sure that we do make sure that that is functioning. And this is a for a lot of you guys that I've talked to and you girls. I know a lot of girls are messaging Mona about that and going, hey, what was the blood work that you did? And like with Mona, one of the uh, the LDLs was was high. Was it the LDLs was high on her cholesterol? So we're going to make sure to watch those numbers to make sure that 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 uh, lowers. Everything else was great. Everything else was. Um, I don't know why I was shocked, but it was just such pretty. It was a pretty lab work to read, and I want to make sure that you guys are doing that. Now here's the thing: you don't need to be beautiful from the first time out, but at least we know what we're working with and how we need to change your nutrition how we should change your training, your stress level, what supplementations you should be doing to make sure that your numbers are correct. And then when your numbers are correct, the, the exercising, you know at that point, okay, I'm working at 100% with the body. Now am I doing everything outside the workouts, the nutrition correctly as well? And then your body changes. So if you, somebody's out there and they're like, I'm working out for three months, body hasn't changed at all. I'm doing cardio. I'm starving myself. I'm doing all this stuff. Nothing's happening. Well, then let's find out what's going on there. Are you overtraining? I got some of that in my family. So I, I do know that this is a thing. And Jeff just asked, does he think that maybe some people are holding off on blood work because there could be something, there could be something going on there. Um, and that, that's, that's always a possibility. I wish, uh, you know, again, at this stage, I, I like the idea that I go to make sure that it's not that. Um, but I, if you are out there and you're saying, I don't want to get blood work because I don't want to know what's going on because I think something's wrong. 
Don't be that person. Go get it done. All right. So that's what I want to jump on here today. Make sure that you tune in for tomorrow's show. Um, and then give me give me feedback. I'd love to hear uh, your guys' take on tomorrow's podcast. Yeah, I'm confused. Why is why is cardio uh my arch nemesis? I'm I'm lost on that. Um I'm lost. Let me know why that would be. And then the second thing is when you're in a, a deficit, obviously you <laughs> the the amazing thing, like anybody that's dieting, you get a little bit moody, you know, in situations, uh, depending also. But it sounds like you've been dieting a while and it doesn't sound like you're cut up. I don't understand the arch nemesis with cardio. I freaking love cardio. Sure. Yeah. I love cardio. Um, and the three months I get to do it every year, uh, I really, it's its awesome. Because the body just reacts so quick when I do it. Hey, Mike, I'm a cop working three shifts. I'm oh, jeez. Yeah. Any advice? Trying to shred fat, build muscle. Thanks. I'm hoping you got your protein drinks or a, a jug with you. Um, I don't know if you're out there in the uh, SWAT car, uh, the, the, the car, or you're in office. Um, regardless, shit, three shit. Wow. Um, my training partner for the last 30 years has been, a, a, he started out as a cop, a beat cop, and then worked his way up. He's a detective now. But uh, you get to take your meals with you, um, have a cooler. Obviously, in the car, if you are in the car. Um, but it's, again, it's just, it's going with. And then here's the thing. Uh, I don't know if you're just driving around a lot um, and sitting there. Uh, but just space out those meals. I would take two weeks. Let's find out with the Titan meal plan, what meals you're being able to get in, how we can arrange it to where when you are at work, it's the easier meals. And maybe that breakfast and that dinner are a more uh, elaborate meal. Um, and then uh, we'll just kind of see where the calorie intake is that's making you tighten up and lose that body fat. Let's go with that, okay? You. You're, you Hold on. You're taking in 80 grams of protein a day? Yeah, your body's shut down. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. Get on the Titan meal plan today. Uh, you'll get it. In the next 24 hours when I get it back to you. But uh, let's go over these these numbers and how to set those meals up for you. 80 grams, your body's not going to utilize. Uh, it's not going to feel safe. You're starving your body, so your body will shut down. Um, it will eat the muscle that you're giving it and store this as just fat. So the one thing that's interesting about people is that they go, well, you know, protein, you can't store as fat carbohydrates and the um your fats that you take in understand this in the simplest way this might be the simplest way if you're not feeding your body enough nutrients not even working out you're just you're just living not enough nutrients on a daily stress level <clears throat> your body is meant to protect you so it needs to shut down slow down your metabolism because it feels that you're starving it Okay, so that's what happens. That's basically what happens. And so whatever you kind of feed it, it doesn't care about that because it's just going to eat whatever on your body. It's the best way to look at this process. So when you're thinking you're out there, I'm just not going to eat today. All right, well, you're shutting your body down. Um, yeah, so that's that's a tough one, my friend. We got to get you on the Titan meal plan. What are your thoughts on prolonged fasts such as 24 plus hours for fat loss? Uh, yeah, I, if they're implemented into a program that you're eating on the other days, um, it, I think it's a great idea. But if you're fasting all the time, it's like, you, again, I would think you only do that during that 12 week cut up. Because if you're doing it all year long, again, like the cardio, the guy said earlier, I only get 12 weeks to do cardio a year. Um, and so if you're going to use fasting as one of the tricks to get in shape, make sure you only use it for that period of time that you're dieting down, which should only be eight to 12 weeks. Yeah, it's, it's the best thing, man. I know you, I know you're in it, Frankie, man. I am proud of you, brother. All right. I am going to do a nutrition plan guys for a budget. I will do that next week. All right. Uh, 
a nutrition plan for like going to the shop? What oh, can yeah. you eat on a low, low budget? Because yeah. I think I think that's an important thing. Yeah, even the other guys were talking about the protein for the officer. Yeah, it's a tough one. All right, gentlemen, I will see you guys later. Have a great day today. We'll talk soon.